There are three methods for the reduction of large bulk samples of aggregate to the appropriate size for testing, where variations in measured characteristics between the test sample and the large bulk sample are minimized. Method A is using a riffle type mechanical splitter or universal splitter. Method B is a process called quartering. And method C is a procedure called miniature stockpile sampling. The moisture condition of the bulk sample should be considered when choosing a sample reduction method. With samples of dry aggregate, using a mechanical splitter or method A is the preferred method. With samples with free moisture on the particle surfaces, method B or C is the preferred method depending on the aggregate characteristics. The quartering method is generally used in situations where an adequate mechanical splitter is unavailable. The miniature stockpile sampling method is only for sampling damp fine aggregate and is not permitted for sampling coarse aggregates or a mixture of coarse and fine aggregates. Sample splitters for aggregate should have an even number of alternating equal width shoots with a minimum of 8 shoots for coarse aggregates and 12 shoots for fine aggregates with the minimum width of individual shoots being at least 2 to 3 times larger than the largest particle in the sample being reduced. For coarse aggregate, Gilson's Universal Sample Splitters are riffle type splitters that feature Gilson's proprietary lever release hopper and adjustable width shoot design, allowing for quick and accurate splitting of bulk samples into testing size specimens. And for fine aggregate, Gilson's Universal Mini Splitters are smaller versions of the Universal Sample Splitters that also include a gated hopper and adjustable shoot bars. Place the original sample into the hopper and uniformly distribute it from edge to edge so that when it is introduced into the chutes, approximately equal amounts will flow through each chute. Release the material over the chutes. Be sure to introduce the sample at a rate to allow the sample to flow freely through the chutes and into the pans below. If you require a test sample that is less in quantity, reintroduce the sample from only one of the pans into the sample splitter in as many times as necessary to reduce the sample for the intended test. Save the remaining sample material collected in the other pan not meant for the current test. The quartering apparatus should consist of a scoop, shovel, or trowel with a straight edge, a broom or brush, and a 6 by 8 foot canvas blanket. For this demonstration, we'll be dividing a bulk sample using the Gilson HM275 quartering cloth kit. To divide a sample, you first place the sample on a canvas blanket. Now mix the sample by turning the entire sample over three times with a shovel. Shovel the sample into a conical pile by depositing each shovel full on top of the previous one. Flatten the conical pile into a uniform thickness and diameter by pressing down with the shovel until the diameter is approximately four to eight times the thickness of the pile. Now divide the flattened sample into four equal quarters with the shovel or a trowel. Next, remove two diagonally opposite quarters, making sure to remove all the fine material. Mix and quarter the remaining material in the same fashion as the original sample until the desired sample quantity is obtained. Save the unused portion of the original sample until all testing is completed. The apparatus for the miniature stockpile sampling method consists of a straight edge scoop, shovel, or trowel for mixing the aggregate. 
and either a small scoop or spoon for sampling. Gilson offers a wide array of scoops, shovels, trowels, and spoons, ideal for sample handling material ranging from fine aggregate to wet concrete. Place the original sample of damp fine aggregate on a hard, clean, level surface, where the potential for material loss or the accidental addition of foreign material is minimized. Mix the material thoroughly by turning the entire sample over three times into a conical pile. Flatten the conical pile to a uniform thickness and diameter by pressing down on the apex of the pile with a scoop, shovel, or trowel. Obtain a test sample by selecting at least five increments of material at random locations from the miniature stockpile using the small scoop or spoon. By following the sample dividing procedures as required by ASTM and AASHTO standards, an aggregate bulk sample reduced to a laboratory test sample will have minimal variations in the aggregate characteristics. For any questions concerning sampling or dividing aggregate samples, or for any Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.